um, you know, respected school teachers and principals, parents, little champions, heartiest congratulations to all of you who have won and those who are true natural born winners. I also actually wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate uh, Mrs. Vidushi Daga, uh, who through her highly commended entrepreneurial nature and spirit has built Clone Futura and Wiz Juniors. It was extremely interesting me, for me to find out that not only does she do technology for six-year-olds, but also does technology for 96-year-olds, where she has actually worked with a bedridden grandmother to connect her with her great-grandchildren who she had not seen for 11 years. So I think that's a great story of, of inspiration um, for us. I think all children are born with an innate creative power and as educators and parents it's actually our role to be able to nurture that. What really helps um, is 21st century awareness. I would like to share a video with all of you today which really focuses on what we see in higher education particularly what 21st century learning is going to be. I think this would be interesting both for the children as well as for the teachers here today. Sushil, can we have the first video? So this, this video is, is quite interesting because this is the first time when we started looking at how teaching has changed over the last 20 years, especially with the advent of technology. Um, as students, we are preparing for a world that does not have um, the future jobs that we know. As teachers, we are preparing them for a world where we really don't know what is happening. So how do we get them uh, enthused um, in, in that? Um, while, while the video plays, uh, when I was a child, uh, growing up, my level of creativity was actually restricted to either the canvas I had, the paintbrush I had, or the ideas of my imagination. Um, today, all these wonderful children and all of us live in a world of technology where we can really, really um, be able to unleash the unimaginable through, through technology. Pardon? It's coming on? Okay, all right. Yeah, sure. I don't want to skip the sequence of my talk and the videos because I have four videos for you. Um, I also learn more through videos these days than through a talk. So I wanted to share uh, not only what we look at as 21st century learning, and more importantly, uh, are we ready? Yeah. I think okay, anyway, still, still the video um, comes on.
So that, ladies and gentlemen, gives you a little insight into where we see the teaching profession going, the challenges that we face as teachers, the opportunities that you have as young students. But most importantly, as talking about creativity and talking about technology, and all of you here are today because of the power of technology and the power of technology that we have in learning, I would like to introduce you to two or three more dimensions which we see changing the world. The first is artificial intelligence. Really the ability for, the ability for us to have robots and, and humanoids actually doing a lot of the work that we do. So using that ability to work with them for solving our maths problems, solving our creative problems. This video talks about the future of robotics and artificial intelligence which many of us have only seen in cartoons and seen in movies, but is actually with, with us now. Sushil? So this is the first human robot. Introducing Alpha 2, the newest member of the family. Okay, Joyce, let's move to the next one. With 20 joints replicating human motion, he's as flexible as a baby. And you, Joyce, Alpha 2 is smaller than your smartphone. Rise and shine. And he makes a great tutor. So what's the most good things since it's finished? Who won the game in Asia? Who won the game in Asia? See, you're a kid. You're a kid. Now, you're a kid. Alpha 2 is like an infinite universe. Where is that from there? Oh, well, how do you? I'm a nice teacher of civil education. Thanks, Alpha. Hey! Alpha 2 is the perfect office assistant. Who's here in three? Alpha, call us at a case and put on a copy of that contract. Okay, Jules, do it then. He's a weather man. Bye, Alpha. Good night, Jay. If you're going out, there's a 75% chance of being. Who's Alpha? I am a handyman. I got the phone, Jeff. What's next, Alpha? Step four. He's a small screwdriver to attach the adapter flange. Alpha 2 is the humanoid robot that makes a fun friend for the whole thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alpha, take a picture! And go to Facebook! And with an expandable platform, his skills keep growing. Alpha, go on the story time. Do you know what he's doing to me? Alpha, what the fuck? Still has this jam plasma, held together by its own gravity. Peering is a fixed voice point in the sky. Have you been able to share a bit of story? Yeah. Come on, Lou. I've learned stories. Come on, to me, Lou's and Dad's. Come on, Link. Think of my blocks. Come on, David. Alpha 2. Make him a member of your family today. So how many of you would like an Alpha 2 to help you with your learning, right? I'm sure Clone Futura and the team, Vidushi and the team will, 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 ma will manage the next generation of tools working with all of you. The other element that I would like to talk about is 3D printing. How many of you have heard of 3D printing? Almost all of you. Anyone has a 3D printer in school? Yes, again, all, uh, many of you. But I think this power of taking an idea. Yes, so average people can have this. You can probably get one for about a thousand bucks. So let's say I had a jacket and I lost my butt. I, instead of going and trying to go to the store and finding a button, I could actually download the blueprint, connect it with my 3D printer, and I could print out a new button. The people at the forefront of this movement, they say they, they want this to be as common in people's homes as the toaster oven. So you can really imagine that five, ten years down the road, a lot of folks are going to have 3D print. There you go. So you can make your own show, you can make your own video game, you can print whatever and do good with it, right? So you can help people who don't have arms by printing arms for them. You can help people who don't have companions by building toys for them. This really is the opportunity that technology gives you. And to actually sum all of this up, one of the latest and most revolutionizing technologies that we're seeing 
and some of you mentioned that today, is of augmented reality. How many of you have heard of augmented reality? How many of you are using it in your games that you build? Yes? No, not as yet, but you're seeing VR. You're using virtual reality, yes? So this last video is really to tie together what the future of augmented reality is, right? So as we solve different problems, as we look at different technologies, the connectivity between all of these is very important as, as, as students. So let's have a look at the final video. I know you'll have a whole evening left planned, but I want to show you one more video before, before I sign off. Technology is all around us. We use it in every aspect of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things. But what if we could go further? What if we could go beyond the screen? Where your digital world is blended with your real world. Now we can. This is the world of holograms. What will they enable us to do? New ways to visualize our work. Do you have an idea for the full tank? New ways to share ideas with each other. How are things going your way? I just put the images in one drive. More immersive ways to play. to teach and learn. So we'll put the new trap in the place of the old one. Now A titan here and here. New ways to collaborate and explore the places we've never been. Look at this formation. Let's take a closer look. And new ways to create the thing we imagine. So that, again, sums up that there are many of us who are, many people who are less fortunate than us, and we should use technology to its greatest extent to help all of them. Uh, we, we're in lower parallel. We have a school of design. We have many of these technologies. They're not at this extent, though, but we would be happy to welcome all of you anytime if you want to get your hands, um, you know, with these technologies. So, again, all the best to you. Thank you again for having me this evening and a very warm uh, thank you from me. Thank you, Mr. Siddharth. That was a message with a moral at the end. I'd like to invite Mr. Shailesh Haribakti to felicitate Mr. Siddharth Shahane. Mr. Shailesh Haribakti from the Haribakti group. With 30 years of experience in his CA field. Thank you so much for having spent your valuable time with us. Thank you, Mr. Shahane. Thank you, Mr. Shailesh.